And because so many of you love baseball, especially playoff baseball, figure we give Cody a chance to uh, earn his uh, paycheck this week. <laughs> yes! and, and a team that's going to disappoint their fan base. Don't you do it. <sighs> don't you do it. Uh, sorry, Met fans. Oh, this is going to be go. a tough, tough October. Hey, I don't want them to lose. They just are going to lose. <laughs> They're playing against the San Diego Padres, which I know on paper sounds like the Mets should win that series. They got DeGrom, they got Scherzer, but they're already saying that they might not throw DeGrom until game three, like saving him for the Dodgers. Going up. Well, so I got to stop you on that. They would only pitch uh, DeGrom in game three mm -hmm. if they lose game two. Mm-hmm. And win game one. Yes. If Scherzer and the Mets lose game one tonight, mm -hmm. then DeGrom's pitching game two. But here's the problem. It doesn't matter even if they beat the Padres because the Dodgers are waiting for them. And the Dodgers won 110 games this year. And they aren't going to be – they're going to be throwing their stars. And the Mets are going to be limping in. No, they're not going to face DeGrom or Scherzer until game two or three. The Mets are screwed. Yeah, you know what? New York has welcomed you with open arms. Yes. <laughs> yes. You really have. You know I that? want the Met. I'm an ex-Met. You don't think I want them to win? I do. You're an ex-minor league Met. <laughs> I'm an ex-minor league everyone. And I'm sorry they sent me paychecks. Go Mets. Go okay. Mets. <laughs> Cody's uh, one of your uh, former players, albeit uh, yeah. 0 for 10. <laughs> it is. Uh, Watch up. The audience needs to know. The commissioner is here. He doesn't need my stats. <laughs> hey, well, a lot of guys don't get 10. Fact. <laughs> fact. I said it. Than you. Rob, he has as many hits as I have. <laughs> yeah. I have an RBI more than you, though. Oh, that's very ah. true. Major League Baseball putting in some new rule changes this next season, and it seems as though Major League Baseball gets a lot more comfortable with more rule changes year in, year out. Is this something that Major League Baseball is trying to do, add more rules, change the game every single year, or is it going to be a year or multi-year type process? Cody Decker, before you get out of here, you got to get us to three, man, heading into the weekend, so what are we taking? I'm getting you to three. You know why that's I'm getting you to three? About. Because the Dodgers are getting you to three. Yes, I make this pick all, all right. the time. Why do I make this pick all the time? Because it's paying out at 63.7% this mm. year. Dodgers, run line, my God, against the Marlins. And the Marlins, we all know, cannot hit. And they got mm. Anderson on the mound. The Dodgers have only lost one game this season in the 22 starts that Anderson has pitched. That is just free money for you all day long. We are going streaking one more time come Monday. Huh? World Series prediction. Who's playing whom? It's the Dodgers and Astros, man. It's just the fact. It's You're going chalk? Yes, I'm going chalk. Anybody that says differently is either lying, making crap up, or just trying to be contrarian. The Dodgers are the best team in the National League by far, and the Astros are by far the best team in the American League. It's not even close. What about the, the New Yankees? York Yankees, Yankees will win. Not. Yankees. Yankees are not no, winning anything. Come on. I'm a Garrett Cole guy, and you know for a fact that Garrett Cole is going to give up six in the first inning. The New York Yankees are going to win the World They're Series. They're not going to win the World Series. Absolutely. They're right. not going to win the World That's Series. That's right. They haven't won since 2009. Oh, such a drought. Yeah. And who's going to win the World Series? Dodgers, man. I think this yeah. is the year for the Dodgers. It really is. Seems like every year is the year for the Dodgers lately, huh? Uh, Ten years they win the division. They only got one championship that everyone says doesn't count because it was that 2020 60 game season. It so. doesn't count. Well, it remember this. Count. Oh, come on. I'm with uh, Monty on that. We'll be talking about this game a lot today. We're going to be talking about the Mets today. We're going to be talking yeah. about the Braves today. That was real lucky Mets are going to be playing nah. today, and those real lucky Mets got to face Matt Olson, who Matt Olson this year alone, hey, 11 at bats, he's hitting 455 against Ooh. Carlos Carrasco. He's got Ooh. two home runs, man. He's already going to do this. It's going to happen by the third inning. He's going oh, yard. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do oh, this for you. Let's, let's see. Let's see. You I'm know taking what? notes. I'm, right. I'm taking notes. Nope. I'm going to do it lefty oh, because Matt Olson's a lefty. Up on him. I'm not a lefty, but guess what we can do? We can do right here, and we can dismount oh. that. Oh. We can walk it out, baby. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, what team is most likely to surprise America and advance? A team that no one's talking about or paying attention to or probably don't even know is even in the playoffs, the Cleveland Guardians, who snuckily won their AL Central this year. No one expected them to finish above last place in their division. They're young, they're talented, they make no mistakes, and they let other teams absolutely beat themselves. They're fun to watch. And they snuckily did that? They snuckily did that. <laughs> okay, That's that, a word. that is a word that I invented for this show. You're welcome. <laughs> like a guy that America may not know a lot about who's going to be the breakout individual star of this postseason. Baseball's biggest issue is creating stars. We've always said that for like the last 20 years. Julio Rodriguez of the Seattle Mariners is as close to the second coming of Ken Griffey Jr. Seattle will ever see. This guy is young, good looking, and plays his ass off in every facet of the game. He's the guy that was a finalist in the home run derby, right? Hit 30 home runs the first <laughs> round, kind of his coming out party. People got to see him sign a $200 million contract like three weeks later, and this is the time for him to really, 
really show out and become a massive star. Cody, you are the man. Love your picks. Tell the boys how to keep it streaking. Yeah. Come on. What yeah. do you got for us, Cody? He's as he right, poses God. and he <laughs> soaks it all in, all yeah. the love that he's got. I need to agree more. Listen, here's at the end of the day. You want a pick? You want a good pick for yeah. today for streaking? Listen, I'm already talking about this game. I'm not going to stop talking about this game. This game is the matchup of the month, unquestionably. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you to take the White Sox Astros under seven Ooh, runs, ladies under. and gentlemen. I like it. Your boy Verlander, my yeah. boy Cease, they are both going to dominate this ball game. I know that the White Sox have good numbers against Justin yeah, Verlander, yeah. but again, this is Justin Verlander. Justin Verlander doesn't give up two give. He doesn't give up two games to a team in a row. True. He doesn't give up two games to anyone ever. He's Justin okay. Verlander. I'm so excited about this game. Uh, listen, Dylan Cease, mm -hmm. he's leading the major leagues in strikeouts. These guys are both top highest, shortest odds right now for Cy Young. You don't yeah. get that in. In August. This is just magic. I cannot wait for this, and this is going to pay out. It's not the overall record, which really shouldn't take away from what the guy accomplished. Not at all. I mean, it's 62 home runs in a season. In fact, only three Yankees in the American League. And what you're saying about the leagues, the league setup doesn't even matter anymore. But yeah, it's an incredible accomplishment. It's only happened five times ever. It's incredible. And that includes guys that we know we're uh, juicing. But yeah. So, so even getting to 60 is a major accomplishment. At the time, it was Jim Leland. And he'd give you the ball and go, hey, uh, if you walk anybody, I'm going to send you to the minors tomorrow. Yeah. And then he'd walk, yeah. That's, yeah. That's he's Jim just sitting Lee. there with a cigarette. Yeah. Just like, give me the ball. You're going right. back to Toledo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's smoking a heater and going, hey, let me just tell you what's going to happen. Here. But to say that he is the single season record holder along with his dad is just not accurate. No. That's fine. It's not. And even if you ask Aaron Judge, he'll tell you it's not. He's from San Francisco. He's a San Francisco Giant fan. Mm. Right. And he loves Barry Bonds. And he said, been on the record, that 73 is the yeah. record.